So it's beer snack review once again. It's Saturday afternoon, we've got a nice cold beer and we need a snack. And it's going to be a bit of a special snack, so I'm going to do a bit of a comparison. We've got some of the biggest crisps known to man. And they're from our friends at Slabs. The company Great Food Affairs, maybe. Have you seen on there? This is the salt and malt vinegar flavour. What we're going to do, we're going to put these into a crisp sandwich, one of the best sandwiches you can make. But I'm going to show a comparison of how these fill a crisp sandwich versus your, your standard crisp. Now, we're not going to name and shame this brand of crisp, but we are going to do a comparison just so you can see how much coverage you get with a slab crisp versus a normal crisp. So, we're going to cut back in a minute and we'll do a close-up of the sandwich making. As you can see, we've just got two ordinary plain pieces of white bread with butter on. And we're going to bring in our standard crisp now. Let's move that one side. So, as you can see, this is a standard crisp, as you all well know. But look how thin it is. Look how big it is. And as you can see, it's going to take a few of them to fill this. Right. Enter. Slabs. And there is a good amount in there already. Now, the first one out of the bag. Look at this monster. Look at it. Just for comparison, that one would fit in there about three times, or, f or even more. So, first crisp down. I'd say I'll try and pick out the biggest ones, but they're all big. There we go. Second one out. We've done a sandwich already, and we've still got that many in the packet. Right, we're going to cut back for a taste test next. As you saw from the close-up footage, i got to admit, I was surprised, but then not really considering how big slabs are. We filled a sandwich in two crisps. So now, without further ado, I'm going to go in. Hmm. Fantastic. Now, What's so good about slabs is that crunch. You know, let's just get another crisp out of the package just to compare. And we get our our standard crisp, the kind of the really thin one that's almost too thin to notice, and then we get a, a slab coming here and we can see a comparison now, the thickness. And that transfers straight through that, that lovely crunch you get in a crisp sandwich when you normally put the whole packet. But with slabs, I'd hazard to say that you could probably make maybe eight sandwiches out of that if you wanted to that's if they last that long but the crunch is fantastic mm. beautiful and the flavor is perfect it's like i would admit salt and vinegar is probably my least favorite crisp flavor I have all the ones out there, but as salt and vinegar goes, considering this is a malt vinegar, it's a very gentle vinegar. Some crisps can be a very kind of overly sharp with the vinegar, too much on there. This is perfect. It's almost like a really good portion of like chips you'd get from a chip shop, but obviously chunky, crunchy, and tasty. Yeah, beautiful. Another thing I have to add, it does say cooked with olive oil. And these crisps don't taste greasy at all. Um, you do get some crisps that, you know, you've had a few and you feel almost like they're a little bit yuck, but these, they're just fantastic. I mean, like, have you ever seen, you, you only get one of them when you're lucky in a crisp bag normally. In slabs, they're all like that. It's almost like, if that come off the slabs production line, they would buy it. No, put that back. This is the only thing that's going in our packets, and they're all chunky. No wonder the packet is of that size, because it's got to be big enough to hold Chris this big. Fantastic. Probably the most epic Chris sandwich in the world. Mm. So, if you're a crisp lover, 
if you're a crisp sandwich lover, or you just love crisps, or you fancy something different, this is the best crisp in the world. I have to say it, there are many crisps out there, and many try to be the perfect crisp, but this is truly it. I have one flavour left to do, and that's the ready sorted. I might do something a little bit different, I'm not sure what I can think up yet. Ready sorted is a good flavour of mine, but what do you pair it with? That's the question. But slabs, more vinegar flavour, fantastic. And in a crisp sandwich, wow. I mean, I would like to say I'm going to go up and make more crisp sandwiches, but I'm probably just going to finish the rest of these with my beer off camera, because they're so fantastic. So, great food affairs, slabs. Check them out.